hello everyone welcome to my channel i hope you are doing well now today i'm going to be doing a beauty slash makeup slash vanity tour but instead of having a regular vanity like most people do i just have all of my beauty supplies on this ikea lack shelf and i'm just gonna be giving you a tour of everything and let's get started now there isn't much to these bottom two so right below underneath everything i just have two of my dumbbells five pounds and ten pounds really wish i could use those more but over here i just have some religious figurines and candles up here i just have this little keepsake box that was gifted to me where i just keep all of my like memory related things and keepsakes i just have a broadway playbill that i went to the other day my king senera tiara and a jewelry box in here and then just some more little photos back there now getting into the first beauty slash makeup thing down here is where we have all of the nail polishes so not all of these are just mine it's like whenever somebody in the family buys one we put it here and we all just use it i'm not gonna go through all of them but as you can see a lot of pink new tones here we have some blacks whites this one from claire's i use all the time and i love it so much as you can see a bit has been used already i have these little mini ones from the brand china glaze to be honest never heard of that but then back here i just have the 24 hour edge tamer in extra mega hold even new york actually has been working pretty well for me and then going into makeup i have this la colors brow tint in the shade soft brown i use this literally every day got it from five below for super cheap really recommend it and then i'm just move this forward a bit so you can see a bit better in here i just have some fake nails this spot these fake nails from the brand impressed by kiss are the only ones that have actually been able to impress me <laughs> like they actually stay on for such a long time and they have so many more cute ones however i do have just some more other nails here by some different brands and then a few back here as well by ardo professional and these by sheen super pretty but again the only ones that have actually been able to work for me for the impress ones in this little corner over here i just have all of my skincare items to be honest i don't really use these a lot but you know pharmacy recommended ones and then some eczema creams if any of you struggle with eczema this thing has been amazing for it and then as you can see my hair everywhere from these brushes so in here i just have wet comb brush ponytail brush combs back there this one i love so much because it's like super soft and then i usually keep this mini one in my emergency kit for school but since school is out right now i just have it back there and then finally a toothbrush that i just use for my edges i know they sell edge brushes but that works fine and then getting into our only makeup over here i have this wet and wild mega protein mascara in very black i use this every day absolutely love next up is the sheen eyeliner do it all two-in-one eyeliner kind of hard to see if it focuses but i love this because it comes with an eraser it's kind of dirty right now because i suck at eyeliner so i have to constantly erase but that's extremely helpful as for the tip, the only way I can get it to focus is if I put it against this. But it's kind of like that chisel tip, so I'm not sure how many of you would think that's easier or any harder. Since, again, I don't use eyeliner often. Definitely go ahead and give it a try if you would like. Then, for lip liners, I have... This is technically an eyeliner as well, but again, I don't use it often. But this is both from the brand NK. I just use this one it's a brown shade 
and it works perfectly even though it's not a lip liner and then this one that's actually a lip pencil and it's just the shade nude then getting to the end i have this she glam color corrector i thought this thing was gonna be super tiny like the ones you actually see in person in stores but this thing is huge like comparing that to my hand that is a lot and i've tried it before and it works perfectly and then for concealer the pro conceal this shade since it's getting to the summer months i do have to get a darker concealer however works great but la girl and then just a little brush from the la colors brow tint now moving on to the second level this is where i just have all of my lip products all of my bigger cosmetics this is mostly where a lot of the things are so first off on the side i just have this pink solar gaze body mist it's almost done so i just have it here to like get rid of it quicker basically then these little containers that i have holding all my lip products and the one that you saw before i just got mine from the 99 cent store but you can get yours anywhere over here are all of my lip balms i have the Burt's bees peppermint one that i use almost every single day mickey and mini super super cute mini is strawberry lollipop however she is completely done but i just keep her around because they look so cute together and then mickey is marshmallow there's very very few left but again i'm gonna keep them no matter what and then this is actually to apply your eyeshadow i got it from dollar tree a huge pack of it however since there's so little left for those of you who've never seen the Tsum Tsum ones, they kind of like go down at the end. So yeah. So to not have to like dig my fingers into that, I've just been using these eyeshadow applications and it's been great. Let's ignore that. Now over here, I just have them separated in these rows so over here are all of my tubed glosses and they all happen to be glittery too so i find that to be a coincidence i have the rk ruby kisses peppermint irresistible candy it's super super glittery a really pretty pink i'm gonna just give you a bit of swatches so you guys can see and i've had this for such a long time it looks kind of silver because of the light but I've had this for such a long time and it's not even halfway done. So like, then the Victoria's Secrets Total Shine Addict. This is a lip top coat. See if you can see that. Super glittery and really pretty. And this is Glitter Candy. And then the Avon Crave Lip Gloss. This glitter is more of a shimmer than anything else, but it's still glittery. So yeah, you can see that. And then these in the middle are products that I don't use often, but only because I use it more for special occasions or a night on the town and I don't go anywhere. So however, we just have the Victoria's Secrets Hollow Glow. This is super pretty extremely beautiful holographic like you would see why i don't want to use that often and it may look like i used a lot of it but literally with that one swipe that i just took out like that one little thing like a whole pack of it came out so i don't know if it's just like the tube size or the size of the wand but you don't get that much product as you would expect then we have the color liquid lipstick this is obviously just a dupe for the kylie jenner ones however this is beautiful like this is their shade number 14 a beautiful color and this lasts such a long time like it does not come off with water at all beautiful color right there then we have the nyx butter gloss honestly this kind of disappointed me this is their red velvet i don't know if it's the one that i specifically have but it's just not that creamy as everyone talks about like in the swatch it probably looks that way but it's my only red shade so when you actually put it on your lips it's just not as creamy as i expected it to be and that's a shame because i love other nyx products then in this row are kind of in the middle which it should probably be in the middle but 
it's I can either use it for a daily thing to run a quick errand or whatever, or I can either use it for a special night out. For example, we have the NYX Lip Shine Lip Gloss and voila. This is a more magenta shade, my only more purpley option that I have, but I still love it. You see, very beautiful. And then this is the NYX that I know I absolutely love. They're Simply Connections. This is the NYX Simply Nude in Peaches. I'm pretty sure that's their lightest one. It's more of a like lip crayon format, but no one talks about these. It's so beautiful. And I love it so much, and this is actually creamy. That's like one of my holy grails. And then finally, for lip products, we have the Ruby Kisses Butter Bomb Gloss. This, if you like the NYX one, you have to try this one. This one is amazing. It's actually creamy. Like, look at that. Like, right over here, and it's my only like darker nude shade. It's just so beautiful but this is their shade warm hug I absolutely love their names and then moving more over here we have some more makeup products I have the Avon magic tint and natural no one talks about this so I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know this product exists but this is their shade fair and it's actually pretty well i haven't used many tinted moisturizers so i can't really compare it to anything this is great for me in the summer to not have something so heavy and then the elf poreless face primer <clears throat> love this if you have acne like you know you need that then the elf makeup mist and set love that as well hiding behind here oh, one more face product i should say well lip product we have an e.l.f. lip exfoliator, super smoothing, and then this isn't makeup, but just these blackhead remover sets. For the remaining part of the shelf, I just put the bucket here on my bed so I can take things out and show you better. Basically, just have some biotin pills. I don't know if you can see into that, but I just have another one of these down there. I don't really know how to pronounce this in English, but it's just... An acne cream that I get from the Dominican Republic works great. Some hair polisher, a face cleanser that I honestly haven't used in such a long time. A little mini hand cream that I got from Dollar Tree works great. I usually keep it in my emergency kit for school, but there is no school right now. Peeking out right there. I'm not going to take it out completely, but I just have like that jelly eye mask thing. Also, I haven't used that in such a long time. As for face mask, I have two. This 24 karat gold sparkling peel off mask that apparently is made with real gold for lifting, smoothing, and illuminizing. So I love that for whenever I'm doing a spa day. Then this Avon Clear Skin Pore Penetrating Black Mineral Mask. Then down here i just have this elf active hydration stick this is actually great if you don't react to sweat well like i do absolutely love that for when you're working out however it's been a while since i actually worked out <laughs> then over here some more face products i have this super super mini sunscreen i got it in a skincare set but honestly there's no information as to where it's from so it's just a sbs 30 sunscreen some more hair products i have this black castor oil hair food that i have yet to try it but and then a lotion the ruby and cash you can read that because i don't know how to pronounce that but Essence of Italian Citrus Zest Hand and Body Cream. I absolutely love how this smells. It smells like lemonade to me, but I'm not good with smells. And then over here, I just have three of my perfumes. The Kimberly Sweet Cherry. The Victoria's Secrets Coconut Passion, which honestly was my mom's, but she never uses it. So I stole it from her and I gave her my Can Can perfume. And then the Victoria's Secrets Pure Seduction. And this actually has shimmer in it, so that's like 
for a really special night out. And then finally, for our last makeup product over here, I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in porcelain and dewy. It works great, however, I do have to sometimes mix this with my other tinted moisturizer to get a shade that actually works best for me. And now that summer is approaching. All right, now for our final one that actually has makeup and beauty on it. This is the farthest my ring light can get, so excuse if it's kind of shaky. But over here in the front, I just have this container that actually used to be a candle. Sandalwood Rose, this smells amazing. But now I just have all my beauty blenders in it. This one was from a single pack on Sheen and the rest were from a four pack. Absolutely love how well everything matches, like the whole aesthetic of this one shelf. So super beautiful and I really, really recommend those sponges. They're super soft, creamy, a bunch of different shapes. And again, I just love how all the colors match. Over here, I just have this pink cup. It reminds me of the woods, kind of, like trees. Got this from the dollar store. But on the inside is where I just have all of my makeup brushes. These two came from a pack on Sheen. It's the foundation brush. An eye brush, an angled eye brush. Then these three are from, I'll just set these down. These three are from the brand Elena Badrill. My sister got these in a subscription box. She just gave them to me. So great for highlight, eyes, and blush. Then this one came in one of my eyeshadow palettes that you'll see in a bit. I actually really love it. You get a blending one over here, super soft and creamy. And then this one is fantastic for application. Then a lip brush. Still in its plastic. And then this isn't makeup, but this is just from the brand. So fresh, so clean. I had a face mask with them and it just came with that brush. And then finally, this huge thing that I got from Dollar Tree or Dollar 25 Tree, whatever. Don't really use it for my makeup as for applying, but it's kind of like great to just have to like brush things off or sometimes when I'm doing my eyebrows to get hair out of my face. So yeah, this actually has a lot of uses. Hoping to get some more soon, but not making our way over here. That barely did anything, but okay. Up here, I just have this three drawer, more of my hair, this three drawer cosmetic box that I got from Five Below. On top, I just have some argan oil for my hair, a butterfly clip, and then in the back is just where I keep my makeup palettes, my eyeshadows. I have this W7 Delicious and Natural and Berry. This is just a dupe for the Modern Renaissance palette. This is where I got the brush from. Absolutely love, love, love these colors. Let's see if I can get it without some glare. Love those colors, however. I don't really recommend it if you're a beginner, intermediate, or professional because these are not very pigmented at all. Like, do you see anything there? Like, you see a bit, but if I go for a deeper color, that probably looks better on camera, but in person, you can't really complain that much since it was $5, but just letting you know. And then that was it for my nude colors, but if I want something with a pop of color, I just recently got this, so I haven't been able to try it out that much, but this is the She Makeup Ice Cream Palette. That packaging is like, it's about to give me a headache, but it just has all of those colors so whenever i want a super colorful look i really wanted the bh cosmetics take me back to brazil but that was like sold out everywhere or super expensive online and then i'm gonna take this down to give you a better look on that okay i just have a little sticker up there 
So down here in, let's start with the bottom one. This probably looks like such a mess, but I just have these sample perfumes that I got from Victoria's Secret. It's a gift, like this one, very sexy, because of course. This one that's Tease. And this one isn't from Victoria's Secrets, but Clinique Happy. I like to use those when going on vacation because they're really easy to travel with. Back there, I can't even take it out, but I just have some bobby pins. And then another brush that you can put to the face cleanser that you saw earlier. And then just all of my hair notes. And then in the middle, I just have all of my scrunchies bigger ones these tinier ones i just have all put together and then these more plasticky spirally ones and then in the last drawer this is where i have most of my makeup that's for this shelf even though my makeup is like spread out throughout the three so these are just the eyeshadow appliers that i showed you before but again i just use it for my lip balm works great either way I have this Maybelline Cheek Heat, a gel cream blush. However, if you have it, I mean, like, use it. But I don't really recommend buying it. You have to, like, apply a bunch to get any bit of color. I don't know if it's just because it's a gel, but that's just my personal opinion. Over here, I have my only contour, the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche love this absolutely love it amazing then i had three of these mk duos this is their highlighter one they have another one for darker shades i'm pretty sure but obviously this is the lighter shade one like that's literally white so i love the formulas of these however they also have blush and contour but those were just the contour was not my color at all and the blush was just way, way too dark for me. However, I do like the formula of these. So if you happen to stop by those. This probably looks super weird here. But I just have some of these, like, costume ears. As you can see, this one is a bunny. Just use those. You just put them through the headbands. I absolutely love this. Like, I'm falling more and more in love with Shane's makeup. This is their Sweet Blush Trio Cheeks. So this is their lighter one in Enamored, but they also have a more orangey one. They also have a more orangey one and a darker ones as well, but I love these. You get like a light peachy one, even though it's more pink than peachy, a nude, and that it's coming off darker in camera, but it's not really like that in real life, and that just fell. Things love to fall while I'm filming, but... I just have another bunny ear then here i just have two of these lip masks i love to use these when i'm doing spa nights i got these from tj maxx pack up six i just have some nail stickers down here emojis doggies then some more of the headband things except bears this time this little eyebrow razor and finally back here i just got this from dollar tree to clean off the makeup brushes really helpful really easy to use and i'm pretty sure that's the last thing in there and then that was all for the beauty aspects on my shelves however up there i just have this puzzle that my friend gave me i like to change them around there's another one in the back as well can't really move it without like the whole thing breaking down but basically i like to change them for autumn and winter i have the other one that's more of a cabin for spring and summer i have this more beachy one and then all the way up there i just have the universal studios clapper board with a little hand up plant i'm super short so i don't know how well you can see that but that's just there for decor so that was it for my video you guys hopefully you liked it seeing the products that i have for a teenager like me just starting out with makeup and not that many beauty products compared to others. But hope you have a great day and I hope you liked it. Bye!